Poet Laureate, Paddy Guthrie, the esteemed poet, as Richard has already said, is going to read Patrick Tony poem this evening. Paddy, you're more welcome. Thanks, uh, Paddy. On Power Lane, uh, great to be among you all tonight. Um, me, Holly, you weren't the only one the book was thrown at, let me tell you that. Yes. Okay. Um, I have three things in common with Mr. Tunney I'm a Republican, I'm a poet, and I'm an avid reader of Old Moore's Almanac. And that's how I became acquainted with his works because I first read Maria Friel in Old Moore's Almanac and there's two <laughs> quotes that I used to look out for all the time when I was away every year when I buy the Almanac a man called Joe Stanton from Kenvara a famous poet and Maria and their poems were always sort of close to each other so in the, um, the Academy of old Moore's poets, they're right up at the top there. So tonight I'm honoured, you know, to read a poem of Patrick Tunney's. And as I said, the book was thrown at me, right? But I am aware of some of his stuff. And as I was flicking through it, one of them just jumped out at me. And for myself with poetry, you know, there's poets and there's poets. Um, there's the, the poet of the land. You know, the bardic poet. And I like to think that with my own stuff, I kind of inject it with that, the, 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 the feeling of it's from the people. You know, and this poem that I happened upon, I think gets to the real heart of the poet, the man. You know, drop all the politics, drop all of that stuff. You know, what are you left with? You're left with, you know, a bag that won't stand up on its own, you know and bones, you know, that's what's behind poetry, that's what makes it, we pick the words and we hang it on the skeleton and we work it and we work it and we work it until it's what we consider perfect and for myself, anything without a flaw is never perfect. Anyway, here we go, it's called My Backy and My Tea, it's from Old Moore's Almanac 1937. Prize Rebus by Patrick Tunney, Derry Kill You Westport, to the editor and to all the bards and poetesses. <laughs> now the bards are all singing their sweet mystic songs about Ireland a nation, her rights and her wrongs. Whilst they are lilting like linnets in May, faith I'd be enjoying my backy and tea. All more is our reading, the moon and the stars, to tell us about legions in Venus and Mars, or the war clouds which hover over distant Bombay. But I'd be enjoying me back in today. Now you're told about sanctions and wild Chacahau. Such tales were unheard of when I was a boy, a flared in the Yule log by the shores of True Bay, and enjoying the comforts of Backy and Tay. All the papers are flooding the country with news about Zulus and Arabs and Fijis and Thrus and Selassie's adventures needs a tropical ray. Still I'd be enjoying me backy and tay. Why statesmen oft tell us about treaties and pacts though forgetful of Bamba and unmindful of facts they casual and revel about pensions and pay which tend to deprive me of Backy and Tay. The thoughts of the past make me lonely and sad, but the hopes of the future again makes me glad. When Grania's true sons will parade in the fray and leave me enjoying my Backy and Tay. Faith, the big wheels of time changed the plans of my youth. It was true men alone cherished value and truth. With bounties and taxes, a sword in each day. Whilst I was enjoying me backy and tay. As the years are a roll and faith I'm grown old, I still love our total, the green, white and gold, and my poor heart is yearning for freedom's bright ray. Whilst I am enjoying me backy and tay. <laughs>